Hey guys, welcome to another day on the shop. Today we're working on the Camaro. Uh. So today we're kind of going the same direction as we went last video. We finished up the rear. Uh, we bled them. I'm going to bleed them again once uh, we deal with the front. And let's look at what we got for the front. So you see uh, we've got some new stop or power stop brakes, uh, calipers, and rotors, vented and slotted, slotted and vented, uh, drilled, whatever you want to call it, and some new lines for this. So uh, we also got some pads, some power stop extreme street performance brake pads. This is a little kit you can order from Summit, Jegs, whatever. So it's about $200, and $200 220 something like that. Uh, it took a little while, rotors were on back order. Had everything else, waiting on it. Uh, so now we're gonna pop this off and take a look at the old hardware and get ready to put this new hardware on. All right, so we're looking at this old caliper. Oh, this looks like this is gonna be fun to get into. So, we're gonna, gonna dig all this thing out of here. This thing's rusted two pieces. And then we got this old rotor that's coming out. So, this thing's just a plain old rotor, plain old pad, plain old caliper going to that new stuff. Got this rubber line right here. It doesn't look too old. Well, it's cracked. Doesn't look too old though. Like it's been replaced in the past 15 years when uh, the last time they did anything with this thing. So we also got a Zerg fitting up here that will clean up. So that's what we're gonna get into. We're gonna start uh, disassembling this and switching out this line. All right, so I'm using my swivel head uh, 3 16 ratchet from Olsa Tools mixed with their hex head 3 16 9 millimeter uh, hex head to get this off. So it works pretty good. And this thing swivels, so I'm not getting caught just being 100% 90 degrees from it. I like that. So you can, if you need to, come up here like this, come from that angle, come from way back here works out nicely. So we're going to take this brake caliper off. Alright, now that this is loose, I'm going to go ahead and undo this up here and uh, just pop this whole line off with this since I'm replacing it anyway. So that's what I'm going to do right now before I pull this off to make it easier. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out up here. Alright, so I loosened this up, getting to this nut right here. So this nut as a cotter pin, it should only be about finger tight. So hopefully I don't have any issues loosening this thing up and getting this nut off so I can get this rotor off. That'd be nice. All right. 
There we go. Yep. Finger tight. Got a lot of bearing grease in here. Going to replace this. Probably clean it all up. Probably clean most of this all up in here. So, well, that's not blinding y'all. Get it all this crummy stuff off. All right, but you see that? Still good grease, but we're gonna replace it. I got new axle grease. So. Old castle nut. Bearing. Alright. Got some new bearings. Got a new got some seals back here. up here and clean all this dust and dirt off too so make sure to wrap all this up and clean it and then re-grease it Alright, with uh, taking all this off, cleaning all this up, replacing everything, I'm going to be painting over this again with rust preventative and uh, a good coat of spray paint so we can knock out anything that might be rusty, including this. So, this has already been kind of wiped down, sprayed off, I'm going to be wiped down one more time and sprayed off one more time. We're going to see how much we can make this prettier. Alright, when you're doing this, you're going to get extra dirty. Because you've got to put a seal in, a lot of grease, and a bearing. These are still good. So I'm just going to repack these. Uh, there's no play in them or anything. So repacking and just putting the seal back in and making sure there's plenty of grease on the interior of this. So I'm going to clean this off real quick with some brake cleaner, wipe it out, put some new grease in it, pack this bearing with multi-duty uh, complex grease so we're going to do that okay just like the seals uh, on the rear I'm using a uh, the Harbor Freight seal installer again Let's get to a harder surface. What you do is you put the rotor on making sure these divots these drill or slotted pieces point to the back of the vehicle that's how you know you have this on right the second thing is when you're putting the nut on you hand tighten it until you can't tighten it anymore while the rotor's spinning back it off just a hair there's so there's two holes that cross uh, in the spindle itself through the threads after you've tightened the nut all the way on as tight as you can get it, you want to make sure you loosen, not tighten anymore. You want to loosen it back to one of those holes. Just barely loosen it. You shouldn't have to loosen it very much. Put the cotter pin in. Secure it. Pack some more grease in this little uh, grease cap. 
and now we're going to tap this on with a rubber mallet. But as you see, this thing rotates really well. Whenever, you, like I said, whenever you're doing this, make sure these slots point towards the back of the car. That's how you know you have these on right. So I'm going to pop this back on, and then we're going to uh, get the caliper on and replace that line. Well, if there's one thing I hate on cars, it's bearing grease. I cannot stand it. Everybody else hates gear oil. I hate bearing grease. It gets stuck in my skin and I can never get it out. I hate it. So, getting down here to the new calipers. We're going to break open this box of pads. All right, there we go. Look at that. New hardware, new pads, new pad grease. So, I'm going to pull these pads out. We're going to loosen these up right here, and we're going to put the, the pads in, and then we're going to tighten these back down once we secure it into the car. So these hold the pads and the caliper in place. So i got some brand new banjo bolts. So let's set you all up over here. All right, so this goes like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to sandwich banjo bolt Banjo bolt. Oop. All right, so before we stick this rotor on, stick these pads up here. This pad goes on first and goes up here, like so. So that's about where it's going to go. This rear one slots in. So, we're going to slot it in like so. There we go, on one side. So this one step, there we go. Alright. And that's how that goes in. Make it easier once we get this caliper on. So we got this on. We got this on. Oop, hold on. Let's set this up. There we go. We got this on. We got the new brake line sitting here. I can't put the new brake line on because this is rounded off. Can you see that? It wouldn't come off. So I'm going to order uh, another uh, brake line for the driver's side. Make this thing stop working, leaking all over my new paint. That'll help. Just peeling off now. So, Ugh. but it's all hanging up here. Look at this. All that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to order a new hard line right here, which won't be anything to change. Uh, the only problem I'm going to have is probably this bracket. Oh. This bracket, eh, it's not too difficult, just one bolt. So I'm going to undo that bracket right there, pop them loose, and hopefully that'll be my only issue. I'm going to mess with the driver's side or the passenger side first to make sure I don't have to do anything with that because that would suck ordering one and then breaking the other whenever it comes down to it. So hopefully I can break the other one loose and let it sit. So anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully I taught you something. Maybe I didn't. I didn't. Just tell me in the comments. Uh, but new brakes in the rear. So far, new brake up front. Just need a new line to start getting all that together. Uh, these pads, hopefully these are really good pads. Back here, I just have some AutoZone specials. 
And I'd forgotten I'd ordered some uh, power stop shoes, but I got them. So, uh, but yeah, so new chapter, new thing. Now I can stop. It revs. It's smoky in here because I just kind of started it for a minute. So, just looking at. No, oh, that's a lot of grease. Looking at how nasty these things are. They would have rolled for a little bit. I could have actually threw some pads on them. They're flat. They're probably brand new, actually, from 15 years ago. But just look at these. Look at how pretty those are. They're so pretty. Oh, I don't want to rotate for me right now. So, but. That's just a big old difference. So, I like them. None likes putting some pretty brand new parts on there. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a comment below. Uh, more stuff like this, this is going to be an ongoing project until I blow the motor and then have to go to a 383 and get rid of this 5.7. Uh, so if you want to keep up with this, uh, watch some more stuff. Watch me restore this thing uh, to be able to be used versus a clapped out hunk of junk. Then uh, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check into uh, Instagram for any giveaways we have. Uh, sorry to whoever uh, let me borrow one of the parts to the giveaway that I have, which is this nine millimeter hex head. That's a, a giveaway on a future time. Just say one of my big giveaways is gonna have this. But uh, yeah, th thanks for letting me borrow it because uh, my hex head was way too long and I didn't have an Allen that actually met that size, which is nine millimeter. So yeah, until next time.